Chibogo. I'm stepping out today and I'm hoping to meet some of you as I find out how deep is your love. This is Ifama Speaks. Come with me. <laughs> We've been in this horrendous traffic on Third Mainland Bridge for so long. But rather than feel bad, I'm going to try and make it interesting so I'll go and talk to other people in other cars. Come with me. By virtue of the what? I'll fight you because I am mad. If I'm not mad, it's my mom. You understand what I'm saying? I fight you of covenant. Imagine his father, his mother, shall be given to his wife and the two shall become one flesh. But I still have it to the mother. Exodus chapter 15, uh, verse, verse 12 tells us, he says, Honor your father and your mother so that you can wear and the days of your life may be length. But you must understand something. There are certain things that mother can do that nobody can do. Any mother can die for her child. They may not be able to die for their husband. You understand? But when it comes to their child, they can even pluck out their arms. Hmm. And what? Interesting. Very, very interesting. I treasure my mother. And my mother. Why your mother? Ah, that is God. See now, God. It's like, that's right. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> well, uh, my child. Why your child? Uh, because he's still a little boy. Thank you very much. Yeah, actually, it's my mother because. She carried me nine months, and she gave, she gave birth to me. Then she suffered so much to train me until I grow and become a matured to this extent. So that's why she's much important. And not that I don't love my wife. I love her so much, but I equally love my mother based on how she tra trained me. Because if she did not train me like this, I don't think my, woman, my, mo uh, my wife would have considered me. I would say my wife. Why? Because my, mo my, my wife is going to be there with me. Like, we are going to build our, our world together. And my mom will not be there. So, definitely I will end up being my wife forever. My child. My child. Can you tell us why? Uh, because they are my future. They are my future. Okay, your child is your future. Thank you. The child comes first. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know, because at this point in time, they need, they need our care. But then the husband is equally important as well. So as much as possible, just try not to neglect him, because he's still your child. <laughs> Thank you very much. Wow, that's a serious question. They're actually all important, you know, because there is, you cannot dispense any one of them. My mom is important because she brought me into this life. I lived with her for some time, and now my wife is taking care of me. And my children, when I'm old, they'll be the one to take care of me. So that's why I think the three are all important. Yes, they're all important, but just for the purpose of this exercise, just pick one. Seriously? Yes. Before the count of three, as in don't think, just pick one, two, three. What if my wife sees this, or my mom, or my daughter sees it? You'll explain it to them. Well, if I actually pick, I'll pick my mom. My wife. Why? At the end of the day, she's going to be by my side at the end of the day. Thank you very much. Interesting. Ha ha. The responses I've been getting are hmm, quite intriguing and thought provoking. In fact, now I'm no more wondering why the spate of domestic violence is at all time high. I probably expected to hear people say my husband, my wife, but you hear my child and my mother. Uh-oh, I'll dwell on this for a long time to come. 
Thank you for watching. Keep subscribing, keep liking, and keep sharing my videos. And remember, life is meaningless until you find your purpose. Bye-bye.